Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 7th, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid, right? These readings are really timeless. So, let's just see what comes up. What do we have? What do we have for around the 7th? The rest of the weeklies will be done, oh, probably either tonight or tomorrow morning. Today was... Get your Christmas tree and decorate it. And decorate everything else too. So that's what we did today. So what do we have for a message? Ace of Swords, Three of Swords. Ace of Swords reversed. Hmm. Dishonesty of some sort. There's there or lack of communication. No communication. Loss of power. Hurt. Painful. Hmm. So there's some sort of heartache here with this three of swords. This is this is painful, painful, uh, powerless situation. It's hmm. actually it really really hurts. Somebody is. If you think about it, this equals the four of swords. It really does. Could be the two of swords as well. If you were to take away that one, so a painful, stressful decision. Somebody is stagnant, they're stuck, they're avoiding, they're avoiding the truth. There's some sort of pain here. It's significant pain by the looks of things. Heartache, heart pain even. There could be some heart pain. But when you get the Ace of Swords reversed, that's oh, lack of clarity, not accepting the truth, not seeing the truth. Somebody could be lying. They could be lying to themselves, you know? This is um, no communication. Could also be lack of awakening. And it's interesting because I was going to start the reading out with so many people are just refusing to wake up. They are. I mean, I've gotten some comments from people that are in fantasy land and it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, there's some people that just do not want to accept reality. They're suffering here. You know, not they're in some sort of pain and then they don't want to accept the truth. So there's a need to accept the truth, but there's some, and if you think about the Two of Swords, that comes in between the Ace and the Two. I mean, the Ace and the Threes, the Two of Swords is denial, avoiding the truth. So there's some sort of denial here. Somebody's avoiding the truth and they're only hurting themselves. They've probably been hurt by another person, but they don't want to believe it or they can't accept it or something like that. Anyhow, Ace of Swords reversed, no communication, lack of communication, and it hurts, it does hurt. Yeah, so we got some sort of pain here. Cuts like a knife, really, it does. Somebody may be shutting down communication. They could even be going no contact. They don't want to communicate. They don't want to communicate. There could be a rejection here. Somebody is rejecting another person. And rejection hurts, it does. Ooh, this isn't fair. It's not fair. This is an injustice. Could be dealing with Libra. Doesn't have to be. Somebody um, is not interested by the looks of things. They're not interested in being honest. There's lack of honesty. There's lack of integrity here. With justice reverse, we have an individual that's probably not going to be happy with an outcome. There could be a court ruling or a legal loss that goes against somebody. Okay, there could be an argument with no resolution in sight. There's definitely a lack of accountability here. Somebody is not wanting to be held accountable for their actions. And there could be a painful separation or something that, you know, the Three of Swords, it could be a painful separation that is coming. Somebody's been dishonest. They've been lying. There's definitely some lies here. 
you know. And if they're going to court, they could get caught, okay. Something may not go in their favor. This is, an un, it's unfair. It's like not happy with the outcome. Not happy with the karma or the ruling that is delivered. And this is like power going away or a loss of power, you know. Now we have the four of swords. Very interesting. Remember, because I mentioned that and then I went to the two. So the four of swords is isolation. It is uh, going into isolation, needing to think, needing to heal, needing to take a break. This is to me, I typically see this as a death of a person or idea. And this is the death of an idea as well. Somebody is refusing to take a new approach. They're not being honest. Um, there's going to be a separation and a need to recover. I'm not sure if there, there could be this a time of recovery is needed. Somebody needs to, he, to heal. Okay, they need to heal. They need to go within. They need to think about you know, I don't know, maybe hurting another person or hurting themselves or something. I feel like there's, or they need to think about healing themselves. You know, this is a need to go within and need to take a time out, need to take a break. All right. We got somebody here that is probably unhealthy. I think they're unhealthy. And you notice we got three swords down here. It's very interesting. Hurt. You know, you got somebody here that is hurt, feels like they're wounded, you know, and they need to take time. They need to take a time out. They do. And it's interesting because we got one sword going down. We got the three swords here and one sword going down. It's pretty crazy. One sword going down, three swords, three swords, one sword going down. So it's interesting. That's no more stop communicating. That there's going to be an end of communication by the looks of things. Because with the sword going down, that's a, that's at the end of communication. Um, there's been some sort of painful situation. Somebody's been hurt or um, something like that. There's been an injustice. Somebody didn't do the right thing. I feel like there's going to be a painful separation on the horizon. Okay. High Priestess reversed. High Priestess reversed hidden agendas. We got somebody here that uh, definitely had some hidden agendas. Very, very uh, sneaky by the looks of things. <laughs> um, I think there's a secret that is about to be revealed. Somebody um, is very shallow or they've been ignoring their self. They've been ignoring their intuition then and they lack knowledge. We have somebody here that lacks some sort of knowledge. Karma is real, just so you know. And that's interesting because part of my, my beginning message that I was going to say is people aren't awakening. People don't believe in karma. We don't, which is crazy. Karma is real. Karma is real. And for some of you that don't want to believe it, you know, uh, it is. It is real. So anyway. We got somebody here that probably is lacking knowledge. You know, they may think that they know. They may, but they're unaware. They're totally unaware of some sort of dishonesty. Okay? They've been, they've been lied to. They've been lied to. And I feel like there's some upcoming separation or some, some, some upcoming hurt there is that is coming because of denial. I feel like it's denial. Like I said that to a sword. Somebody has been in denial. But I feel like and they've been they've been not listening, not listening to their gut, ignoring their intuition, probably overly reliant on, you know, tarot readers or psychics or mediums or other people for advice, but I'm not really able to listen to that advice. There is definitely a secret that is about to be revealed. It's a lie. Somebody has been lying and their lies are about to be revealed. Put it that way. Okay? 
That's what's going to happen. And it could put somebody in isolation. I'm just saying the Four of Swords is typically, you know, a need to recover. It could be rehab. It could be, uh, I don't know, it could be even, I mean, in some car. I mean, it could be jail. Like, I don't know. Or, I don't know. I don't know why I think that. Probably because of the Justice card. Anyway, that Three of Swords is some sort of separation. It's a painful situation. Seven of Wands. Now, Seven of Wands is defending. Defense. Somebody is going to be on the defensive. They may be trying to prove something. Somebody's in a very tough, tough, tough position. They're going to be questioned. They're going to be questioned and they're going to have a hard time answering the questions. Okay? I feel like um, somebody's going to be trying to stand their ground. They are, but I feel like they're going to be overwhelmed. I feel like they're going to be overwhelmed. I feel like they don't have, it feels like they're going to, they're not going to be successful. I'm just being honest with you. Somebody, we have a fighter here, somebody that likes to fight. This fighter is, is going to be, it feels like they're going to be up against, I don't know, maybe it's the justice system or karma or something like that. Tough, tough, tough position. <laughs> Somebody's going to be put in a tough position. Something's not going to work out. Eight of Cups, I mean, Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's something not working out. Somebody hasn't been working. They haven't been working. They haven't been putting in effort. They've been lazy. They've been taking, maybe they've been taking a long break. Maybe they've been uh, not interested, not interested in doing anything. I feel like we have a fighter here who likes to, maybe this person likes to fight a lot with the Seven of Wands. That is a fighter. That is somebody who... Um, is very uh, opposing, you know, challenging, uh, likes to compete. Somebody's going to be caught off guard. They're going to be caught off guard. This is somebody who is very confident, though, that feels as though they will win. But I don't think that whatever it is that they think they're going to win, I don't feel like they're going to win. I'm just being honest. I, I don't feel like they're going to win. I don't feel like they're going to win because something isn't going to work out. They haven't planned effectively or they haven't worked or they haven't worked hard enough or they, they haven't done what they were supposed to do. This Four of Swords, I consider the Four of Swords is the end of a city. I do. I consider it an ending, a need to recover, a need to heal, a need to go within, Right? We have somebody here that uh, has not been listening. They have been not, not been listening to any advice. They haven't been following the rules. This is somebody that may be above the law, may think that they're above the law. There's some sort of hurt here, pain, grieving, which may have caused this person to be in fight mode all the time. Maybe somebody has been treated unfairly, and so they have this defense mechanism at every moment. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles reversed. Now that is, could be a complete loss. It could be, could be total ruin with the Five of Pentacles reversed. It really could. This is hard times. This is um, being disgraced, okay? But there's this is also a turning point. There's an op. This is a turning point. A turning point. There's an opportunity to heal with that Four of Swords next to the Five of Pentacles. Somebody hasn't been putting in enough effort. They're very fighty. They're very defensive. We got somebody here that is always on the defensive. They always want to fight. They haven't been. Well, they're on thin ice. I feel like they're about to fall through. It feels like their time's up. Okay.
okay? Um, there's going to be an imp improvement. There is. But this improvement comes after this Four of Swords, which comes... And, and, it, and Four of Swords is the end of a desperate situation. And that may mean rehab. rehab. It may mean jail. It may mean the hospital. It may mean uh, going within for, you know, a period of time to recover. Somebody needs to recover from something, from some sort of pain, from some sort of injustice, from maybe there's karma here, from some lies. Somebody really needs to think about, they need to think about uh, who they are. You know, they really need to think about who they are. They need to start listening to their intuition. They need to think about doing the right thing. You know, somebody hasn't been doing the right thing. They haven't been making the right choices. Okay, they've probably been breaking the law by the looks of things. Anyhow, uh, five of pentacles reversed. There's going to be a turning point after... After something, after something, there will be a turning point after the secret is revealed, after this truth, after this lie is revealed. Somebody's been hiding something. They've been hiding something. They've been hiding it well. They're not going to be able to hide it anymore. They're going to, they're going to crumble. And I don't even need, I don't even need the, the tower card to see that. They're going to crumble. They're going to be put right on the spot. Somebody is going to be put right on the spot. Absolutely. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. So we have a very uh, stubborn individual here, male or female. This person is stubborn. This person is possessive. This person is jealous. This person probably isn't very good with money, probably doesn't work very much. There's a lack of work, you know. Um, could be very shallow. Somebody could be choosing to be alone. There could be a separation on, on the horizon. Maybe they've been fighting with somebody a lot. There's been a lot of opposition, you know. There has been, obviously, a lot of opposition, or that card wouldn't be here. There definitely could be a separation from a contract. There could be a contract that is, you know, somebody has been uh, hiding that, hiding something. They may have been even hiding money, okay? They may have been saving money. They may have been saving money. Maybe they've been saving money to leave. Anyhow, this Queen of Pentacles reversed is... Uh, I feel like we got somebody here that is not stable, you know, or they're giving up something that was stable. They'd rather be alone or they're going to be alone because the High Priestess Reverse is, is being alone, going there, being alone. Somebody's going to be alone. Okay. We could have a partnership or some, something's not working out. It's not with that Eight of Pentacles. There's too much fighting. There's too much competition. And and feeling dead inside with that four of swords. That's 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 feeling dead dead inside. And this is there's no need to take a new approach. Somebody could be, you know, um I feel like there's a decision to separate. There's gonna be a separation here. Now the Queen of Pentacles in reversed is um uh, it feels that there could be an, in, an untrustworthy individual here, you know, that wastes resources, that is impractical, that is neglectful, okay? We have somebody here that is neglectful, that is not really with it. Somebody's not really with it. They're not very grounded, you know, very, very... Um, boring as well doesn't have much to offer i feel like this person is about to lose something or just choose this person may even choose to i don't know walk away abandon ship you know anyhow um 
there's definitely some financial hard times here for somebody. I don't know who that's for somebody else. Could be for the same person. There's financial hardship here. We have somebody here that doesn't have any financial resources. Okay, and it's because they don't really want, you know, they don't want to work full time or they don't want to work that hard for them or they don't want to get a better job and they don't want to work at all. You know, it could be either way or they waste their money or something like that. We have somebody here that is not very practical. They're not very responsible by the looks of things. And I feel like they are have been on thin ice for quite some time. And I think that it's over. Okay. I think that it's over. All right. I think they, I, I feel like they're, are, they are, they may, they've been hiding something and they're, and they haven't been saying something. They haven't been telling the truth, but the truth is about to come out. Okay, they may get questioned, they may get questioned, you know, and they crumble, you know, they get caught off guard and they crumble, you know, it's almost like somebody sneaks up on them, you know, they could be talking on the phone or doing something and they get heard, that could be the case as well, it's like, oh my God, you know, you didn't, you know, they get heard, they get caught, you know, because you know, this person's coming around the bend, you know what I mean, so it feels like somebody could get, get caught, they could get caught, uh, you know, in a lie, you know, or they've been lying about something and that's when the truth comes out, you know, they get caught and it's, uh, causes a separation. Somebody's leaving something behind as well. They're leaving something behind. It's just not working out. It's either, it could be a commitment, could be a commitment, could be a marriage. I feel like there's some sort of disgrace here. We have it in both of these cards. There's, there's some sort of embarrassment, okay? There's some sort of, maybe it's public embarrassment. There's, there's somebody that is, has been controlled by, by social pressure. Um, a relationship is no longer on the same page. Somebody's been having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. They may have even been controlled by a father figure. Doesn't have to be. There's also poor counsel here with both of these cards. Somebody has received some poor counsel. Okay. Maybe, maybe from somebody who thinks that they're spiritual. They're not very spiritual, you know? Somebody may be engaged with, with an individual who thinks that they're, you know, grounded, thinks that they're, they're all that, and they're not, and they're not. So, you know, there's also, an, this person is not able to, to believe in themselves. They don't follow their own path. Somebody has been um, not trusting themselves, you know, relying too much on outside sources to decide basically their fate, you know? So anyway, I also have a rule breaker here. Somebody that breaks rules, you know? So this rule breaker, it feels like this rule breaker is about to get caught. That's how I feel. We have somebody here that does the opposite of what they say. This person has been on thin ice. And I feel like they are about to be up against somebody that, or a crowd, or more than one person, or somebody. They're about to be up against some serious opposition. That's how I feel about that. Um, there could even be some uh, disloyalty here. Somebody hasn't been loyal. They haven't been truthful. That's for damn sure. The very first card out is the Ace of Swords. You know, right next to the Ace of Swords reverse, with the Knight right next to the Justice card reverse, we got somebody here that is very dishonest. They're not going to be happy with an outcome. There may be an argument, like I said, where, you know, I feel like there's going to be a fight or an argument where there is no resolution in sight. And the only thing to do is to, 
you know, separate. I mean, that, that three of swords is a separation or it's a loss or it's pain, it's grieving. Or a rejection, you know? Somebody may be choosing to be single. They may be. It definitely looks like that. Okay? Somebody may be choosing to be single or they're choosing, you know, to uh, go their own way because they hear, they, they, they realize, they realize who they're dealing with. I also feel like there's a, there's a financial loss here or loss of possessions, you know, or... You know, uh, there's there's instability. We got somebody here that is very unstable and untrustworthy. This untrusty individual is about to uh, lose something. Okay, they are. They're about to lose their position, or they're about to lose something even more. And I feel like they're they're going to lose something even even more because of their lies. Lies come back to haunt you. A lie can only be a lie for so long before it comes out. Trust me, it always comes out, and you can wear that blindfold forever. Eventually, it's going to get sweaty or whatnot, or it's going to get ragged. It's going to fall off. Okay? You can't pretend forever. So anyway, there's been some sort of injustice. Somebody has done something. They have broken the rules. Okay? They have. They didn't follow the plan, or they didn't you know, act with integrity. And it feels like they're about to pay the price. You know? So, I feel like there's there's somebody that's going to be caught off guard. They have no idea that they're going to get caught. They've been hiding something very well. But they're, they, and they've been keeping it to themselves. They can't keep it to themselves anymore. It's about to come out. It's about to, it's really about to come out. If there's some court case here with that justice card reverse, if somebody's going to court, it may not turn out. It may not turn out in your favor. Okay? That is a justice card reverse. It's like something may not turn out as you thought it was going to. Because there's there's legal there's there could be some legal flaws you know or uh, there's dishonesty you know not being happy with a an outcome somebody's not going to be happy with an outcome and they're going to be shut down I guess we'll get one more card with that justice reversed. Ace of Cups. Emotional. It is definitely going to be emotional. Very, very, very. It's extremely emotional. That is the, that's a flood of emotion. Okay. This may have to do with love. It may have to do with self-love. It may have to do with um, acting out of love. Somebody hasn't been doing the right thing. They haven't been acting out of love. They haven't been. That's not doing the right thing. This is all, it's all about love, kindness. Belt. This is about being emotionally honest. If somebody hasn't been emotionally honest, they haven't been. The Ace of Cups is a new start in love. It is. After the truth comes out. I don't know if you saw me pull that last card. 
but somebody is leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind and headed towards emotional fulfillment. That's what they're doing. Somebody's not going to see it as being fair. They're not going to be happy with the outcome. They're not going to be happy with the decision. But that is what's coming. This is this is saying goodbye. It is saying goodbye to an emotionally disappointing situation and heading towards emotional fulfillment after being in an unhealthy relationship or an unstable relationship. Something not working out. Okay? So there is going to be a separation. There is. Be prepared for some challenging information. Okay? Somebody's definitely going to be caught off guard. Somebody may go no contact because they have a new love. Just saying. This is the end of a painful situation. It is. That hasn't been working out probably for quite some time, but there's been denial, like I said. Anyhow. Somebody's been holding on just for the stability of it. They haven't been listening to their intuition or they or they've gotten some poor counsel from somebody you know anyhow we can stop now um this is a painful uh it could be a conversation a painful um outcome there's an argument with no resolution in sight where some it's a fight of some sort or a battle if you're going to court it could be a court um, there will be a uh, departure, okay? There will be with this Eight of Cups. Somebody is leaving behind a situation that is no longer happy, okay? They can't pretend anymore. They've been keeping it to themselves. They're definitely leaving it behind, and they are headed towards uh, a new beginning. And that could even start with self-love, okay? They've been, and, and this could be lying. Somebody may have been lying to themselves, Anyhow, this is a way, an awakening, okay? Somebody has basically been refusing to wake up. This is a, an awakening, okay? So, yeah. Saying goodbye to a unhealthy, um, disappointing situation. That's what's going on. Somebody may be even leaving without saying goodbye, Okay, if they go to court, they could be, if it's, if this is court related and they've done something against the law, which this certainly could be the case because of, I can see that they could, they could be going someplace without a chance to say goodbye. They don't get a chance. Anyhow, get prepared for some opposition. Okay, something isn't working out. Good luck.